In this play, Ian does a good job of creating a two-on-one, but opts to cut into the middle instead of staying wide. This allows their defenseman to cover two players at once rather than forcing him to make a choice of whom to cover. Here we see how a good defensive play can lead to an offensive play back the other way. Kindle and Will shut down their rush and make a good outlet pass to Preston who has done a good job on the back check. Unfortunately we are unable to capitalize because the forwards don't crash the net. Now we see a good effort on the back check, but Preston is pursuing the puck carrier rather than looking to take away the pass. When we have two defensemen back, we want the back checker to pick up an open player and follow them all the way to the net. Next we see a textbook defensive zone play. The defense takes the body, center provides puck support, and we are able to get the puck out of our zone. In the defensive zone, the defense cannot get beat out of the corner or it will create a scoring chance every time. Keep yourself between their player and the front of the net. This is an example of how crashing the net leads to scoring opportunities. Three forwards all going to the net looking for rebounds results in a beautiful goal. When we are breaking out of our zone we want the strong side winger to be at the hash marks for the outlet pass. In this case Preston provides excellent puck support down low but the winger has started to leave the zone. If their defense had pinched this could have resulted in a big hit. Now we are going to see a great execution of our forecheck off of a face-off in the offensive zone. In this case, the center, Preston, becomes F1 and pursues the puck down low. F2, Jacob, is in great position and we are able to keep the puck down low. When the play moves to the other side, we see an excellent shift down by F3, followed Roy, followed by a good pinch by the defense. This type of disciplined play will result in good pressure every time. In our zone, we cannot skate by checks. We need to make effective hits wherever possible. Here we will see the center supporting the defenseman in the corner but rather than taking the opportunity to play the body, he attempts to swipe at the puck. This results in a very good scoring opportunity for them. Finish checks, support the puck. Now we see another transition from a good defensive play to a very well executed 3 on 2. The puck carrier challenges the defenseman down the wing, the second forward drives hard to the net, and the third forward is in excellent position for a drop pass or a rebound. When killing penalties we want to maintain a box formation. In this sequence the right defense In this next sequence we will also see a breakdown of our box formation as Jacob chases the puck down low and then across the ice to where we already have two players. The puck winds up coming back to the spot where if he had maintained his position in the top of the box he would have been. They get a good shot on our net as a result of this positioning. In the same way that we want to crash the net in their end, we want to keep the front of our net clear. On this play, the shot comes in on Nate, and as he attempts to cover the puck, our players are looking at him and the puck. In this case, let Nate get the puck, look for players coming to the front of the net, and engage them physically. Pick up their sticks with yours and shoulder check them if they come close to the goal. You can also use peripheral vision to look for the puck until the whistle blows. On this play we see an excellent example of a forward covering for a pinching defenseman. We want our defense to make aggressive plays on the boards, but if there's not a high forward as you see here, it can result in odd man rushes. The puck gets past the defenseman, but the forward is able to shut down the play because of his positioning.
In order to break out effectively, we have to have good support. Here we see the defenseman below the goal line and all of our forwards outside the zone. There must be a strong side winger outlet pass available along with the center curling to provide another outlet. Because the defense is forced into a long pass, Hillsborough gains possession and gets a scoring chance on us. Now we will see how the failure to drive wide on a 3-on-2 in their end causes problems on our own end. Rather than drive wide, the forward opts to try to stick handle through their defense. The resulting turnover is sent back the other way and only a great save by Nate keeps the puck out of our net. Our forechecking system relies on pressure from the player closest to the puck. Preston has the opportunity to get on their defensive quickly but goes in passively. Even though Roy is in an excellent position in the spot where we expect to get turnovers, they are able to get the puck out because they have extra time to make the play. On this play, we again see the strong side winger not in position for the outlet pass. When the defense gets the puck, he correctly moves it up the boards. The winger has left his spot and could have been hit hard again if the defenseman had decided to line him up. Now we are going to see another example of how crashing the front of the net gets results. As Will gets the puck in their end and directs a nice shot on net, Cole is in front of the net screening and deflects the puck. This was a key goal at a key time for us because we were getting traffic in front of their goal. On the ensuing faceoff, we continue to go hard to the net as Jacob takes a good shot and Preston crashes the net. They got very lucky on this play and the puck could have easily been in the net, giving us a 4-3 lead. Next, for the third sequence in a row, we get players going to the net and generating a scoring chance. Shots on net with traffic in front. will result in scoring opportunities against any team we play. Finally, in spite of all that good work, they were able to get a goal because of a bad line change. We have been making questionable changes all game and it finally cost us on their fourth goal. We must change when the puck is in their zone and do so with a sense of urgency. Small details cost us this game.